today I'm going to show you through my sort of standard makeup look. This is like my go-to look. So I like to start with the YSL Touche Chocolat Under Eye Concealer. I like to use a concealer brush. This one's got a little point on it. Next, I like to put a little bit of face concealer. I like to use the NARS stick. I use the shade Macadamia Cover, just sort of the more pigmented areas. NARS All Day Luminous. I always take foundation down my neck and I like to use a fairly soft foundation brush. Prep my under eye area with some MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose for under eye brightening. Bone coloured shadow. Four shades of brown, starting with the lightest and doing the largest area with the lightest brown and then moving down to the darkest brown. Now I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard, anything that's got a straight edge on it, and line it up from the edge of the eye to the end of the eyebrow and cover the lid. I'm going to take a much smaller brush and with the same light brown, I'm gonna bring it from the edge and just follow that line the chocolate box to face and I'm going to go one shade darker just inside that line bring that underneath third shade of brown which is one shade darker again again I'm in my chocolate box I'm going to go this one now I'm going to go even lower four three two So I've got light, medium, darker. Now I'm going to go for a slightly bronzed metallic shade. Now I'm going to stay really low to the lash line with this shade. I might want to bring it up a touch on the corners, a touch to blend it out from underneath and blend, blend out the underneath. Soften the top as well. Using a dark brown pencil underneath. And then if you blink a couple of times to stay in the bottom contour, I'm using a Laura Mercer shadow that's in Wild Bouquet. I use an angular brush, either one like this or like this, as long as it's got an angle on it. And rather, like the crease is here, I like to do it slightly above and then blend up into it. around the jaw and into these neck grooves here. And next is my favorite step, which is the rouge. I like to use always really soft, really fluffy brushes, and I always like to use really soft strokes as well. I'm using the Benefit. And then I'm gonna go severe in the middle a little bit and soften it around the edges. And I like to take my rouge, my contour is here, so I'm bringing the rouge just slightly in front of it. And soften, very soft strokes around the edges. Now for the brows, I like to clean off any foundation. And then from the underneath, I make upward strokes. And from above, I make downward strokes. For highlighter, I love champagne tones, so pink and gold mixed together. So this one here by Sephora is just a pinkish tone, and then I have a little gold one that I mix. Pink and gold makes champagne, and again, I've got a super soft, fluffy brush, and I like to put my highlighter quite high. I love Stiller's huge extreme lash. I'm going to put a touch of powder. I'm using a Laura Mercer foundation powder just on the T-zone. For bronzer, I love Laura Mercer. Just take that around. Just do the edges. You need to clean the lips. 
My absolute favorite lipstick is Tawny by La Prairie. A little bit more of the pinkish toned highlighter on the tip of the nose and a touch on the cupid's bow. Bronzing the neck, blending it in to the body, very important. Just to sharpen the lip line, a touch, put some waves in the hair. Just added some lashes on the ends there for a little bit of extra glam. And if it's going to be a bit of a hot day or I'm going to be sweating or getting shiny, just a little touch of finishing powder, I would pop where I get shiny. That's my everyday natural glam go-to look. I hope you picked up a tip or two.